Okay, so why do the Islamic people okay. think that that land is theirs? Okay. Actually, going back to the same thing. Okay. All right, and this is kind of where it... it, it and uh, wouldn't they have most of it by now? Yeah, I mean, obviously, right? they've, they've got just if, about all of it. Right. Yeah. Except the good parts. <laughs> except for except for they, they'd like to have Jerusalem. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, which is... So yeah. really, we're fighting over Jerusalem. That's a large content. Yeah. I mean, that's a large part of it. Okay. Um, you know, because even going back to like the Crusades, which was not a great time in Christian history. Right. Okay. But even going back to the Crusades, it's it was over the same issue. It was over Jerusalem. It was over the land. Um, and so. Who were they killing? They were in war with the Muslims. Okay. Yeah. The Christians were. Mm, Christians were. Okay. And so. Oh, so we have fought over that before. Yeah. For Muslims, they actually are tying their justification to have the land back to this to to in many ways the same promise, the same covenant. Okay. okay. So for the Jews, they believe there is Abraham and then his son Isaac, and then Isaac's son Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. Mm-hmm. Right. And you get the twelve tribes of Israel, and that's the lineage. Okay. okay. The covenant carries through Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. You know whose name is Israel. That's the lineage. Therefore, they have the right. For Muslims, it actually it's tying it back to Ishmael, who was it, it, who was who was another one of Abraham's sons, but was actually the first born of Abraham, but was okay. not born via his wife Sarah, but through a handmaiden Hagar. Okay. And so and so for the, the Muslims, they actually believe the Jews for all intents and purposes like basically um uh slanted the scriptures in their favor, but really oh. kind of created created their own history out of it, their own story out of it. Okay. That was in the in the Muslims' eyes, it's a false story. It's not a true story. Okay. And so for the Muslims And the Jews think the same thing about Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Well, and you know, and so for 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 Jews, for Christians, when we read the Old Testament scriptures, you know, we see the fact that God makes a makes it clear to Abraham that Ishmael is not the son of the promise. What part? In Genesis 21, verse 12, God said to Abraham, Do not be distressed about the boy and about your slave. Whatever Sarah says to you, listen to her, because your offspring will be traced through Isaac. And I will also make a nation of the slave's son, that's Hagar's son, because he is your offspring. So, in other words, God is saying, hey, your offspring will be traced through Isaac. That's who the promises are geared to that's the covenant is geared toward is through isaac but i'm also going to make a great nation of hagar's son ishmael so according to the jews and this Mm -hmm. both of them are supposed to be cool well from (laughs) I, i mean cool in the sense of like they're both abraham's sons cool in the sense of god promised that both would have uh, like a great nation would come from both, but only one of them was a child of the promise. Okay. Yeah. Who that by the child of the promise, they just mean the promise of the covenant. So the Muslims would say, or the Islam people mm-hmm. yeah, would Muslims, say, yeah. okay, that the Jews wrote that verse specifically to be able to bomb. <laughs> The Muslims forever. Well, <laughs> over land. Over land. Well, okay. Obviously, um, bombing wasn't in the forethought of at this right. point in time. Okay. I mean, I know you're saying like later on, are they yeah. using this? No. So what they would say is that basically the G- the Jewish people created their own story, their own history. Okay. Um, but it was a false history. So whose came first? The Jews. Okay. Because remember, Muslims, Muhammad, the founder of Islam, right, 
did not even live until the 600 AD. So he was a real guy? Oh, yeah. Okay. Muhammad's a real guy. Okay. Yeah. So he is considered their greatest prophet. Do the Muslims believe Jesus was a guy? Yes. Okay. They believe he was a real person that existed. Okay. However, they do not believe, obviously, that he was the Jewish Messiah. Okay. Yeah. So, so all comes back to this verse. Yeah, it all, all kind of hinges. This is the split. This is the yeah. This is the departure. Okay. Yeah. And in in the Quran, uh-huh. I guess they say they say everything the Jews wrote in their Bible was BS. Oh, death yes. to well, <laughs> yeah. They're just basically creating a a, a a another narrative. Okay. That that contradicts the narrative that the Jews have. Okay. So it's a multiverse situation. <laughs> Something l- like that. Right. But where only one of them is true. It's, it's, it's religion. It's what if. Religion, <laughs> what if. Yeah, but yeah. Okay. We can, we can go down that road. Okay. But, but yeah, but obviously. But has real life consequences. Has, right. Has okay. Real life consequences. And, and so, you know, obviously each one of them would argue that their version is the correct version. Right. Yeah. And then the Christians argue that their version is the correct version. The Christians would would argue that the Jews are right. R- right. Because because we believe that part of the thing too. <laughs> right, because we have the same Hebrew scriptures right. in our Bible. 